Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for November 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Aries. Hello, my sweet Aries. Now, you know, when I'm doing the weekend readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my angel tarot cards for the main message, and then I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is, my job, just deliver to whoever needed to hear it. Let's go one, two, and three. Three cards are face down. First and third reversed. Strong energy. Now, you know, the only thing I really, you know, have to say is that um, uh, Mercury went is going direct in Libra as of the third. It does take a little bit of time to get, you know, to get moving on. And I think at that round the 10th, it's going to actually go into Scorpio. So interesting communications with that. But it's the last retrograde, Mercury retrograde of the year. Yay. Okay, let's see what we have for my Aries for the weekend. First card up, again reversed. The dreamer, the dreamer, the dreamer. Remember when the archangels come to visit, write down their name. So this is Archangel Metatron. You know, Metatron has, uh, you know, has an earth energy that, you know, supposedly walked as a human, transformed. I think they're, you know, supposed to be Enoch, transformed, transfixed into an angel, archangel. And brings the dreams, brings the hopes, talks to God, gets the, you know, has the ear of the higher power. And, you know, so this is that time, you know, so Archangel Metatron is there for you to bring your dreams to that higher power, to your guardian angel, spirit guide. Well, your guardian angel's right there with you. Your spirit guide, your voice of the universe, whoever that is, your divine, whoever that is. But this is, this is a messenger of extreme angelic energy, extreme angelic power. You know, you know, be respectful, say thank you. But this is somebody that higher power is saying for Aries, hey, you know, you've got some dreams. So this is that time, dream big. I always say have them a little bit on the broad side too. You know, I mean, if you want, if you need money to pay bills, you know, don't always give solutions let the angelic realm figure that out for you but the you know it's like open book it's time to dream and dream big now this also takes a leap of faith but it's also follow your dreams unexpected opportunities now your next card the two of earth earth energy is can uh, capricorn taurus and virgo we have some, you know, Taurus and Capricorn energy going on right now. It's very solid, something, someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with your work, your money. It could also be, you know, something to do with your career. Two is some crossroads. There's some crossroads, some decisions. So, it, you know, are you making some decisions? Do you own a business? Are you thinking of selling your business? You know, make sure that we get a little further away. You know, make sure that we get a little further away from when Mercury retrograde, I mean, went straight. I would say that if you're really serious about, you know, signing contracts or something like that, my Aries, that you wait. So, you know, what would it be the third, you know, 14 days until the 17th or going a little bit closer even maybe to Sagittarius, okay? I said, you know, going into Sagittarius, which I think is more the 22nd, no, 21st this year, I think, you know, that would probably bode better for you if you're selling and you're signing contracts. But you can negotiate. You can be in negotiations now, okay? Okay. But if this is about too much work, go, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. Now, your last card, this is reversed. The three of air. Now, a lot of this is letting go. Letting go of the past. So that's why I'm thinking that, you know, again, are you, are you selling a home, selling something? Are you planning on moving, you know, and now you have to leave? You know, are you planning somebody getting married? You know, it, it, I feel like it's that type. It's like a new chapter, another chapter. And part of the excitement 
of going forward is there. Part of the transition is, is very, very busy, and part of it is saying goodbye to the past. So this weekend has that type of energy for you, saying goodbye to the past, moving towards the future, and that can be both that could be both you know exciting and bittersweet. Now, this is great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Okay, and with that you know with that letting go of the past, you know you have to really let go of it. You can't carry the baggage with you. Anyway, let's go on. So this this you know I would say a transitional you know again it, it's like a transitional weekend. Getting ready to, you know, go forward. Here we go. Let's go ahead and cut for my Aries. Okay, not reversed. Here we go. The five of Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is your energy. It is also Leo and Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. Fives have some changes coming. Changes coming on. And, you know, it could be positive. It could be negative. I don't feel, you know, with the way that the, these cards are, I feel that it's a positive change. But it's stressful. It's hard. It's, you know, again, it's like, you know, I'm going forward. But I, what do I have to leave behind? You know, you, you, you get me? You feel me? You're not, you know what I'm trying to tell you? And, it, and it's it's like... You know, and there's a little bit of fear. There's a little bit of worry. Am I making the right decisions? And remember what I said about if you're signing contracts, you can do your negotiations now, but try to sign them a little, give it, give it a little more time before signing, okay? Unless you can't. If you can't, sign, sign, okay? But anyway, fives are about change. And again, there is some stress with this change. So the weekend, while it's very exciting and while it's like, oh my gosh, things are opening up, isn't this wonderful? There's also things are opening up and it means that I have to I have to leave. Maybe I have to leave the comfort, the safety of where I'm at now. I'm used to where I'm at. You know, you can do it. You can do it, my Aries. I promise you that you can. Anyway, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Now you may have people that are very willing to give you your two, their two cents on whether you should or you shouldn't. You have to do, you have to follow your heart, you have to follow your gut, okay? Okay. So, so what are you deciding on? What are you leaving behind? What are you running towards? I like it though. I do like it for you, my Aries. Okay, my Aries, remember the button, okay? Please like, share, subscribe. It really does help. It does help um, support my channel, so thank you. As always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.